Whether they're at the Boston Marathon for the first time. This is my first Boston Marathon. Or they're an old pro here. I've done it at least 10. I've not kept track after that. People from all over the world, including New Hampshire, are flocking to the finish line with different stories to tell. Amanda Cavanaugh is from Hudson and running for her boyfriend, a cancer survivor. I am running the Boston Marathon with teams in training. Uh, so my boyfriend is a 10-year survivor of Hodgkin's lymphoma. I've been given a second chance at life and uh, Amanda chose to run for that organization and uh, we're really excited to support it and uh, be out here. Meanwhile, Kim Goff from Guilford, New Hampshire, is running with her son for the first time. I'm running with my son, and I feel real blessed to be able to say that. How many moms get to say that running with their son, you know, for Boston? My mom is like the, she's the veteran runner. She's the expert, so I'm just listening. I take her advice. She tells me to, you know, to go and take some water or take some Gatorade, eat something. I listen to her. I, you know, I'm not going to argue with her. She's the expert. Regardless of the reason for running, Everyone is happy to show off their New Hampshire pride. Absolutely proud. Yeah, I, I lived in the Lakes region for 17 years now, and it's a great place to live, and the people are wonderful. And I feel a great amount of support here, even out in the course. So much pride. Um, I was definitely known as the New Hampshire girl, and I, I brought the attitude with it to the teams and training team, so I'm just really happy to be representing New Hampshire, and I hope I make everyone proud. She certainly will. Of course, the marathon attracts people from all over the world, but there are several hundred runners that are registered to run from the state of New Hampshire. So if you're watching tomorrow, you might actually see someone running from New Hampshire. Live in Boston, I'm Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.